Hello, this is Extras. Today I'm going to show off how to catch the Hylian Loach consistently uh, without the Sinker Lure. Uh, I think in the past people have been under the belief that the Sinker Lure is essentially required to get the Hylian Loach, but it is not. So, to begin with, the first time that you enter the fishing pond, you have a value that's set to zero. It records how many times you've paid to go fishing, and that value is shared between child and adult. So, in order for the loach to spawn, you need to be on any third purchase, essentially. So, multiples of three when you enter the store. So, the number gets incremented every time you make a purchase. So, I'm going to simply buy once, quit, buy twice, then quit again. And then on the third time, that means the first two bits of this value are going to be set to one and then one, right? One, one for three. And that is what you have to have set when you enter the fishing pond in order for the Hylian Loach to spawn. Okay, so this is the third time I've paid. Now we need to, now that the value is set to one, one or three, we need to exit and re-enter. And now the Hylian Loach will spawn. Now, the Hylian Loach is fairly difficult to catch if you don't have the Sinker Lure, particularly because if you scare it, it goes into the deep water, and it is very difficult for it to get it to respond if it's in the deep water without using the Sinker Lure. The Sinker Lure will let you get down to it since it sticks on the bottom. However, when you first come in after the Hylian Loach has spawned, you have an opportunity to catch it. If we go ahead and walk into the water here with iron boots, I can show you where it always spawns. In the back there. Normally, it's not Z-targetable if you scare it. However, when it first spawns, it is Z-targetable. Let me get a little bit closer and it'll load in. Not him. There it is. You see the Hylian Loach back there? beneath the lily pads, that is always where it spawns. So I am going to go ahead and work my way around and out of the water. But you don't want to scare it because if you scare it, your one opportunity to be able to Z-target and catch it using the normal fishing rod is essentially gone at least for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and begin to start trying to go after it. There are two other smaller dumb fish in this area. And most likely they're going to attempt to bite before the Hylian Loach will. What you want to do is let them bite. Let them leave. You know, make sure you don't try to reel them in or you'll scare off the Loach. Okay, I'm going to make another save state here because now we have the Loach alone. So at this point, you want to keep going across, and I'm casting into the dirt, but you can pull out of the dirt, and then the loach will begin to go after. You can see him swimming for it now. He's actually not very difficult to catch once he's actually on your line. In fact, I would say that the large fish as adult is actually more difficult than the Hylian loach to catch. And as you can see, I can continue to Z-target him. If you scare him, the only time that you can Z-target him at that point would be... Oh, come on. Got him. The only time that you can Z-target him is when he is coming down from the surface after going for essentially a breath of air. The Hylian Loach every like minute or two goes up for a breath of air. And it also... Oh, there we go. We caught it. So there you go. That's how you catch the Hylian Loach with the normal rod. It always spawns in that same position. And if you go for it right there, you can Z-target it, and you just make sure you don't scare it away. Now, there's nothing special about catching with the normal rod. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the fish is returned to the pond when you try to turn it in. Um, regardless of what happens, he just gives you the grand prize. Um, I don't think it would be able to beat my current fish anyway. But yeah, I can go ahead and try to turn it in. It doesn't matter whether you use the sinker or not to catch it because it doesn't get stored in the fish tank anyway. He just gives you the prize and that'll pay for two more fishing trips. So there you go. 
That's how you catch the Hylian Loach. Again, it's every third time uh, after, well, I guess it's every fourth time starting on the third time that you have paid, but you have to exit and re-enter after paying the third time in order for the Loach to spawn. So there you have it. Good luck fishing.